Pushback against the TEA continues. Right now, a rally being held outside HISD headquarters by parents, teachers, and union representatives to speak out against the handling of the school district. Liliana Pearson is there right now. Liliana, what is happening? It looks like a pretty active scene behind you. Yeah, the march just wrapped up, but you can see there are still plenty of people here right now, parents, teachers, students, union leaders, who are incredibly passionate about what's happening in their school district right now. We're told by participants that the purpose of the picket is to hold the new administration accountable. Issues with local unions and teachers have been raised to ABC 13, including accusations that dual language programs are being scaled back, that scripted in time lesson plans and students behind, and students with learning disabilities are being told not to be accommodated. Many teachers have only spoken to ABC 13 on the condition that we don't share their identity, saying they fear retaliation. But today, a few teachers did speak to us for the first time, saying they're willing to put their jobs on the line for change. HISD has told us previously that dual language programs are intact, their curriculum departments are being built out, and students with learning disabilities are being accommodated. People we talked to today say they feel tired of being ignored. They're not getting any of that extra enrichment this year at all. They're just, you know, like tested, tested, tested. In the first three weeks of school, I was observed 37 times without any feedback. Um, in the last three weeks, so we're six weeks in now, in the last three weeks, 11, teach, 11 educators have left my school alone. Um, so these kids are losing opportunity, they're losing experience. And today the group marched, they rallied, they spoke to each other and encouraged each other. They're going to be wrapping up here in just the next few minutes. Today I did reach back out to HISD. They told me that they are committed to creating an equal learning environment that closes out learning disparities. From HISD headquarters, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Liliana, thank you so much.